Yerp. What's good, YouTube? Dominant Evans here with another YouTube channel video of mine. BTP. Be the priority. Whatever you want to call it. And um, this year, I told myself I'm going to switch it up a little bit more. Start curating more images and photos. Uh, I am a photographer, as you all know. So you might be wondering, why don't you share more photography work or photography ideas or photography videos? Though the wisdom and knowledge and inspirational and motivational videos will still come, I'm going to be switching it up to try to transition a little bit into the photography spectrum as well. So in this video, I'm not going to full on just let you know out the gate about photography and what I use or what's in my camera bag just yet. But what I am going to let you know is how Instagram is fucking up photography's natural state and how people are just looking for likes, comments, and validation on Instagram on their photography when you should. With all that being said, let's attack Instagram. Everybody knows I'm against social media. Um, actually, being back from this break has made it to where I really don't like it anymore. I already deleted Facebook and Twitter. Instagram just might be the third and last one to go. So how is Instagram affecting your photography or even your business? One, Instagram isn't the same of what it used to be. Instagram used to provide you value when it comes to, you know, critique, critiquing your work or it used to provide you real networking, but now it's just very different. You can still network with people on Instagram that you want to network with. However, when it comes to you posting uh, something of your business, for me is photography. When I look at the likes and comments, though it's some of the people I know, it's a bunch of strangers as well, or the comments, it's not providing any real value. It's just, you know, I'm sure many photographers can vouch. You get the dope shot, bro, or dope work, or I really love this image, but it's nothing that's connecting the relationship to build the relationship between two photographers. I think we've really put our all into Instagram in the last four or five years that when we are editing a photo or we are taking a photo, we are already thinking about whether it's going on Instagram or not, even down to cropping. I notice when I'm editing a photo and I crop, I always go for the four by five and I'm just like, it's so limiting. Is limiting like how I want to actually crop this photo because I treat my Instagram like a I don't want to say a gallery because it's not a portfolio you could say but I think this is where I'm gonna revert back to my website as far as my images and just have my own gallery on my website and Instagram is definitely gonna have to change as far as creativity the purpose of the use of Instagram and what things I want to like actually curate to put on Instagram. A lot of us are falling into that trap of I need to post or even if it's not good work, I still need to post something. And I'm so happy that in December, it took me out of that loop of not wanting to post anything if I don't have anything to post. Now I do have things to post. I'm slow on my roll because I seen something where it says, as a photographer, you need to sit with your work. Sit with your work, value your work, um, critique your own work, see what you could have did better before you have anybody else critique your shit, period. But soon as we take the fucking image and edit it the same day, we upload it on Instagram and I'm just like, where did you have time to sit with it? You probably didn't. You probably just threw on some music hour later that image came out and then now everybody critiquing your shit and you didn't even have time to actually value your own things. I'm really 
not liking Instagram. Um, that's why I don't post any images on Instagram. I've been taking a lot of images, but I just don't want Instagram to be where I put the value of my images or I don't want my whole portfolio or all my hard work to be valued by this app that can just disappear like that or by these people that I don't even know. The people that wasn't there when I took the image, the people that don't know what it felt like when I took the image, or the people that just want to critique and say, I would have edited this better, or I would have edited this differently. It doesn't matter. It's an art. So to my fellow photographers, make sure you are valuing your work before you actually put it out. Make sure you are critiquing your work and giving some constructive criticism to yourself before you put it out for someone else to give you that constructive criticism. Um, don't put your value in Instagram, please. Save your time. Don't fall for the trap of you need to post every day or you need to post, like, come on. Like, I made so many videos on how social media is addicting. It's just like a slot machine. It's the same way. The more you post, the more you fall into this rabbit hole of you have to post. And then when you have to break the habit, it's so weird and so crazy and it's daunting that you'd be like, yo, if I don't post, I'm gonna lose followers. It doesn't matter. You're, you didn't get into photography to gain followers. You did, if you're doing photography, truly, you're doing photography for yourself, right? I figured. So find your own purpose, find your own value in photography, find your own voice. Don't listen to the masses. And it's not even just Instagram, but if you have a business, period. So with that being said, thank you guys for tuning in to another YouTube channel video of mine. I'm Domineer Evans, BTP. Be the priority or be the photographer. <laughs> that works too. But yeah, I'm out of here. Spread peace, love, and positivity. Yeah.